A country can only develop where there is equity, probity and accountability, or at least a semblance of it. Globally, there is no executive that is incorruptible. People who are saddled with the responsibility of managing state resources are likely to abuse the privileges extended to them. From America to Zimbabwe, everywhere capitalist thrives, there is bound to be an abuse. How then do these economies thrive? How do they manage an image of probity and accountability? The reason is simple, the judiciary. In order to run a successful capitalist economy, you need an active judiciary, a judiciary that is functional, independent and autonomous, effective and efficient. Simply put, we need a judiciary that works. Can the Nigerian judiciary be said to be active? At the mention of the judiciary, an average Nigerian cringes. We shudder at the thought of standing in the witness box. To an average Nigerian, facing trial is as good as being charged to court or being condemned. There is no relationship between the judiciary and the people. The people do not feel the judiciary is there for their good. No trust. This makes it impossible for an average citizen to take someone to court, let alone take the government to court. When the executive goes wrong, we commit them to the court of God in heaven, rather than the court of justice on earth. Because as the saying goes, that means anyone you cannot handle, there is God there who can handle such a person for you. We know how much influence the executives have on the judiciary. We accuse the executive of controlling judicial cases, and the outcome of these cases tend lend credence to our accusations. But wait a minute. How many cases are prosecuted smoothly at the judiciary? Even cases between two individuals drag on forever. Case in sight is Evans, the kidnapper. He's been on for about four years. This is a case that everybody in the nation is interested in. No known politician or no known political influence, no tribal bias, no need for regional balance in this case. Everybody wants one and same thing, justice. But it's taken four years, and during this period, Bill Cosby was charged, sentenced, and his charges reviewed. George Floyd's killer cop was tried and sentenced. Oscar Pistorius was charged, tried, and sentenced. Samson Siasia was tried, sentenced. He challenged his case at the Court of Arbitration for Sports and got a lesser charge. Osh Poppy's arrest. It was charged and the case has begun and I'm sure it will conclude before the end of Evans' case. A case that has no political twist, no pressure from the executive arm, has taken four years. Does justice have a will in Nigeria? Does it grind at all? And there are so many cases as such in Nigeria. Cases drag for years until both the appellant and the respondent get tired of the case and stop showing up in courts. Is this an indication that no arm of government works in Nigeria? Which way Nigeria? <laughs> Look, I, I think we all must acknowledge that there's two justice systems. Hmm. One for the wealthy and even upper middle class yeah. and one for the, the masses, poor man, yeah. the poor masses because you have so many people who are, who should we say, have been, um, are really innocent, or their crimes are so little, mm. like something like stealing bread, but they have spent years waiting for their trial, yes. and they're languishing in no, jail. Prison. Mm. Not prison yet, too. Mm. in jail. In jail. Mm. Yeah. And it's a real problem. Yeah. Um, and judiciary doesn't seem to care. And it also makes you aware of just how many cases there must uh, be. Yeah, yes. Um, I don't know why it takes so long to address cases. Mm. I don't know why they insist on keeping people in jail who are nonviolent, mm. right? Mm. Or should have a process for some of these lighter uh, offenses. cases. cases yes. Offenses, yes. yes, when a person is actually charged to, when a person commits a oh, crime. Yeah, yeah. the lawyers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, when a person commits a crime, <laughs> 
you know, and the matter is reported to the police, the person is not supposed to be detained for more than 48 hours. That is what the criminal justice law, even the ACJ, the Administration of Criminal Justice Law of Lagos State, states so. But today you go to the police station, you see people there for five days, seven days, and nothing they're is happening. Charged. Yeah, they're not being charged to court. Even those who, who their matters are being tried to, um, try, um, charged to court, you hear certain delays that the, the magistrate is in, in town, or, so the person just keeps languishing in, in the police cell. Mm -hmm. Now, the condition of the police cell is not, is not mm -hmm. anything to write him about because mm -hmm. you hear stories about you know, they being beaten, mm -hmm. being bullied mm -hmm. by somebody else inside in the yeah. cell, you hear them coming out, no food, the rice is um, bad, the, the food is not well cooked. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, Insects and all that. Exactly. So now, there's also a situation where the police also take advantage of these persons, these suspects, they are not, they are not, um, uh, they are, yeah, because the, the law says that a person is presumed innocent yes, until yes, proven yes, guilty. Yes, so, the yes. person is not yet a criminal, the person is just a suspect. Mm. So, a suspect could actually be innocent. Mm. Not yeah. in Nigeria. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> once you hear the word suspect in Nigeria, yes. it connotes that yes, this person gone. Is, is dead, you know, exactly. pretty much. It's pretty and much. I think it goes to the fact that people don't know their rights. Yeah, you know, exactly. to a large extent. Exactly. You know, I've heard a lot of cases where people come and say that. I say, what? Bail is free. Mm. You know, mm. people don't even understand that bail is free. You mm. right? Mm. You you have to do something, and that just goes to a lot of there's a, a lot of education required mm. in that sense. When people are arrested, for instance, mm. or when people are invited, you know, to police station, or when people actually are, you know, sued. There are different levels to these things, and there are yeah. different laws that apply in, those play in, in, in different circumstances. But because most people are not even aware of what the law says, mm. they're not aware of what their rights are. Yeah. You know, so a lot of times, you know, people take advantage of those things. I've heard that in police stations, once a lawyer shows up, you know, the, the it, police it, get a bit it, aggressive, it, 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 you know, because they're like, you know what, this person knows a bit more than the average Nigerian. Nigerian. Yeah. You know, so this, is, this goes to every Nigerian. I believe that everyone should arm themselves with at least some semblance of education with mm. what the law says, what mm. is required. Mm. And you know, I had a friend that took last month to court and he won. Mm. You know, it, I mean, he's a troublemaker. But <laughs> again, <laughs> we would take well, we to know, but yeah. he had yeah. to yeah. know yeah. that he yeah. had those rights yeah. Yeah. Right? for him to have thought. Mm -hmm. He took them because... And, he, and they, you know what's even more? He should have made that victory public. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. To yeah. let other people, people yeah. know. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. From it. But you see what's even more, I mean, instructive here is that, listen, we're talking about the violations mm -hmm. of people's rights. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we're even, I'm looking at a case where everything is gone through and you're in courts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the process yeah. just drags on mm -hmm. endlessly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why... Why you, does it drag on endlessly? That's why we don't know. It feels like you're running a campaign. You need sources? so much money. Is it lack of I, I personnel? Or the so it's a systemic, yeah, problem, yeah, problem. Yeah, it's a systemic I problem. I think that was Maybe. That's, that's what it so is. those are the things we need yeah. to look at. And that's why I said that, okay, we accuse the executive. They have, they have to take all the blame. We accuse the legislative. They have to take all the blame as well. Yeah. But then we ignore the justice system, of which if that functions, if you're able to function to the extent that you know that if I take you to court, I can win. Mm -hmm. yes. The average legis I mean, the average lawmaker will be a lot more careful. Yeah. But he knows he won't even try it, first of all. Yes. Then secondly, he has all the sounds to back him up. And yes. you, how many exactly. can you? And then, so there's also generally that perception that, you yeah. know that thing they say that, that nobody who first called police, they, nah, they, nah. They, so there's, <laughs> there's yeah. that perception that if this person goes to court first, then, you know, naturally what, what they win. But there's sometimes where yeah, if you're work that way. actually you not can, guilty, you, you can, can fight win. your case. Baba yeah. Shala, what do you think? Well, I, I was shocked when police said bail was free uh, because <laughs> in, every, in every police station there's a forget about it. Okay, there's a sticker that says bail is free right there. Uh, but you try and get it for free, and then you know whether it's free or not. <laughs> but on a serious note, I, I, I mean, although I can't even make a point, um, you know, the justice system is you know painful. It's 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 almost. I mean, that's it's almost like the last resort that has been abandoned. Mm. Now I say this because he mentioned some criminals, Evans, who has a kidnapping case. So, you know, the, the justice system shouldn't even be thinking about Evans as, at is he all. innocent or guilty? They look at the facts and they should be able to throw him in jail or free him in, in a short space of time. But, but let us look at another case yeah. uh, of Elza, that and his wife. Even I mean, the, these people were shot mm -hmm. by, this, by soldiers. They were shot. His wife had bullets, uh, bullet wounds when she was arrested. Yeah. But they were, they've been detained for more than five years. 
and 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 that's what we are on a about. charge Bawashala. on, on a charge of causing the killing of the members of their sect. Mm. Now, they didn't have any arms at the time. So, let, I mean, that just shows you how painful it is because these guys were unarmed. They were the ones that were shot at. They yeah. were wounded when they were held in custody. But it, it took a court five years to be able to establish that the actually did not... That, that, know, that's the painful the part, Baba Shola. But you know what? This justice system is something we can talk about all day long. <laughs> but we need to move on. Absolutely. We just need to think through it and make sure that we get our justice system working. But let's go over to Shola, who is giving us a lecture in e-commerce. Stay with us.